Let me bring in Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy, Democrat from Illinois and a member of the Intelligence Committee. Good to see you, Congressman. Good morning. Same here, Chris. Thank you. So give us, talk a little bit about this Democratic strategy for opening these hearings. Like, why start with, with Ambassador Taylor? What's the story you think is critical for Americans to take away? Sure. Well, um, everybody probably has heard of Mr. Taylor, who's been paying attention to what's been going on uh, with the Ukraine affair. But uh, Ambassador Taylor is a West Point graduate and a Vietnam veteran. He served his country for 50 years as a career public servant, apolitical. And um, he came across to me as perhaps one of the most compelling witnesses I've ever seen. He, he indeed was, a, as I said before, a witness out of central casting, um, some, someone who's credible, consistent, and careful in his testimony. And his testimony is very clear if you read the deposition transcript, which is that he had a clear understanding that military aid was premised on the Ukraine's uh, announcement of investigations of President Trump's domestic political rivals. But that brings and, me to um, my I next question. I think that is very important. That brings me to my next question. The Americans, Republicans, have seen the headlines from the private depositions. They've seen the depositions, reading some of the transcripts for themselves. And sure. yet, Democrats haven't won over a single Republican who's willing to say, oh yeah, we're for impeaching President Trump. So how do you use these open hearings to change their minds? The facts remain the same, right? So um, uh, the public hearings have two purposes, one, to educate people about what we've learned, and then two, to allow the American people for themselves to evaluate the credibility of these witnesses. I can tell you that privately, uh, when I was in the room uh, listening to Ambassador Taylor and I talked to my Republican counterparts, they found him to be credible. Um, the question is uh, whether uh, the audience uh, at home will, will, will find the same. Do you I believe think they, they found will. Him He's a very so compelling credible, Congressman, that they will not challenge him because we certainly have heard people who want to suggest that somehow Ambassador Taylor is not credible, um, that he's not someone who didn't have uh, some sort of other uh, ulterior motive than to tell the truth. Um, I think you know, my colleagues on the other side will challenge him, as is their right, during the hearing. However, um, this is what people need to remember, uh, at least with regard to his deposition testimony. Um, this is a man who was called out of retirement by Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to serve his country in the Ukraine. Um, and he has absolutely no incentive to do anything but tell the truth. In fact, um, in this particular instance, telling the truth would cost him potentially his career. What what's uh, left of it in public service. So I think um, as people listen to him, um, I hope that they listen uh, to his uh, details that he recounts uh, with a lot of uh, um, specificity. And I think they'll find him compelling as I did. So even if we make the assumption that people will find him credible, that he will give evidence of a quid pro quo. As you well know, impeachment wasn't designed as a legal process. It is a political one. There's no independent judge giving jury instructions. So if Republicans say, well, maybe it doesn't look good, but this isn't enough to throw Donald Trump out of office, is that the end of it? Well, I think it's up to the, to the um, uh, American people to decide for themselves uh, whether they believe this is impeachable. Um, and of course, there, there's a process after this inquiry. But I have to say there are two aspects of this that are very serious. One, uh, you know, the founders of our country um, specifically didn't want foreign powers to interfere in our democracy. Uh, and they contemplated this type of interference and anybody who aided it um, as potentially comp uh, uh, committing impeachable offenses. And the second is, if the president actually used his office to investigate private, private citizens for political purposes, that could be any of us who could be the subject of such an investigation. And that's very, very deeply troubling. That's probably one of the greatest fears that private citizens have about their government, and certainly the presidency. So I fear um, that if these are true, uh, they would be impeachable. Congressman Krishnamurthy, thank you so much. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Chris.